Community members have taken upon themselves to remove graffiti covering parts of the Ocean Beach seawall. Yeah, Casey McKinnon is in OB with more on why local leadership there is not stepping up to address the problem. I know we've contacted Jennifer Campbell, who is the councilwoman for that district there, Casey, uh, who hasn't talked to us yet. But this is uh, just, it's a little heartbreaking when you live there to see that. Yeah, and this is not the only time that we've been talking about this. I was out here last Thursday in Ocean Beach, and they were in the process of covering up all of the graffiti that you see on the wall behind me, as well as the seawall. We reached out to Jennifer Campbell's office, and she declined our request for an interview. So I have Dr. Linda Lucas, a candidate for District 2, and you are running against Jennifer Campbell. And why isn't she addressing these issues that we're continuing to see here? And why are community members, like the people at the OB Hotel, responsible for cleaning up their neighborhood yeah thanks that's a great question um, I can't count I can't comment on dr. Campbell's actions or lack thereof but what I can say is that after knocking on 4,000 doors of my friends and neighbors um, there's a message that I heard and that message is this there's a sense of abandonment this community doesn't feel like they're represented they don't feel like their voices have been heard um, so I will be that voice. Well, what are we continuing to see here in Ocean Beach and District 2 itself? But uh, Ocean Beach is such a unique place in its, in its own way. Um, but the graffiti, the drug abuse, the homelessness issues, those are continuing to happen and they're growing. It's a band-aid approach that we're taking, right? We're not getting to the long-term solutions. The, the vandalism that happens here on a regular basis um, needs to have uh, a long-term solution that prevents the criminal activity. So perhaps preventive murals um, where we engage our local artists and are the kiddos in our community to come paint the wall, right? And, and, and tell the OB story and then protect that, that mural with a graffiti barrier of some sort. That would be more of a long-term solution than to continue to utilize resources to just come out and clean it up every couple of days. All right, well, you're going to have to continue to clean it up every couple of days because we were here last Thursday, Dr. Lucas, and the seawall has been cleaned up, and that's where we saw a lot of the graffiti. That wall right there was cleaned up by the OB Hotel, I believe, on Sunday, but the seawall has been tagged once again, and it looks like that whoever was doing it out here just kind of went over their own work once again. So I'm going to step out of the way this way so Kevin can show everybody that the seawall has been vandalized once again. And what are you, what are your steps on this very important day to stop this from happening, Dr. Lucas? Thanks. Yeah, you know, vandalism is a criminal activity. So it starts with code enforcement, right? We can't, we can't continue to let this occur. As a community, we need to be loud and clear with our message that enough is enough. We're not going to tolerate it anymore. Well, Dr. Lucas, thank you so much once again for joining us on Good Morning San Diego. Good luck today. Thank you. Please get out and vote. All right. Well, Paul and Laura and I will send things back over to you, but kudos to those at the OP Hotel who are continuing to clean up the acts of graffiti that we're continuing to see out here. But it's just another problem where we need leadership to step up and listen to the people in their community. So I'll send things back over to you for now. Yeah, I mean, I, the issue is a lot of this is happening in the middle of the night when I mean, you, you cannot have someone stand out there 24 seven, so. Yeah, but perhaps if they know that there are people who are reporting, uh, you know, to a line that's already set up and ready to go, perhaps it will lessen the attempts to, to do that. Just unfortunate. Mm -hmm. All right, Casey. Thanks, Casey. Appreciate